Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Distant Star. Okay, let's um, talk about it. You guys probably want to talk about it. At least for those of you that missed it. Um, last episode we made a discovery, or at least I made a discovery that I'm pretty sure all of you already knew and were yelling at me for quite a few episodes of not doing, which probably wasn't that many, maybe like two episodes of people yelling at me for not doing this. But when I leveled up my spaceships, I was under the impression that we had another extra slot for attachments. No, 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 that's not what was happening. We were actually getting skills that we had to pick. I wasn't aware of that, because I'm an idiot. So, what I'm saying to you is that even though I'm an idiot, I somehow went through like two episodes worth of battles, maybe even three, without picking new skills to make life easier for me. So in a sense, I was kind of making the game more difficult for me just based out of pure ignorance alone. So can you really fault me for that? It's kind of like a self-imposed challenge, even though I wasn't aware that I was doing it. <laughs> Let's just go with the second one. I like the, um, the latter. I was just challenging myself. The fact that I didn't know that these skills existed does not really matter. I was just challenging myself, but no, that's not the case. I was just an idiot, but thankfully I figured it out. We have now some new skills on our spaceships that are going to help us, you know, either move faster, um, shield Regan faster, more HP, more shields, more rate of fire, etc, etc. So there is that. We did that last episode, so if you haven't checked that out, be sure to do it. Either way, right now we're going to be jumping to this exit over here because we want to get to the next um, system right now. I hope there's going to be no battles over here. Right? No battles? Okay, good. Oh, by the way, in case you want to see what I'm talking about, Fleet Browser, these right here. Whenever you level up, you unlock, these are the things you unlock, and then each one is going to have a random set of um, skills that you could pick for your ships, right? So, um, for the Assault, we got the Shield Phasing, and Lancer, we got the Shield Cohesion, etc, etc. So, um, if you want to get a better rundown of that, check out the last episode in case you're interested in that. But yeah, I'm an idiot. Big surprise. Let's jump on out of here and go to our next system over here. I'm surprised that we're making it to the third one. We went through this one, we went through that one, and now we are in this one over here. Now, mind you, this one's going to be a bit more difficult, more than likely, because um, the one that we just went through was just Akari controlled. And this right here is going to be more neutral. The red ones are obviously the scariest one, because they're Ortani all the way. So we're going to jump over to here, because that's our early jump available to us, and find out what is out here for us. Your fleet passes into a new and dangerous area of the galaxy. Your charts tell you that many of the systems here have been, and continue to be, heavily contested by Bodakari and Artani forces. Major offensive counterattacks and devastating assaults have laid waste to whole tracts of space. Where these conflicts no longer rage, pirates and scavengers loot abandoned technology from the dead and dying left on the battlefields. So, if I am correct... Continue, please. Now, if I am correct, I'm pretty sure that the neutral territories are more pirate-controlled. And what I've heard when I was, you know, browsing the forums on Steam, on the game, the other big complaint along with the difficulty factor was the fact that pirates were kind of a little bit OP. So, that's kind of what we're getting into right now. Kind of like, you know, dealing with pirates and they're supposed to be kind of crazy. So, we'll find out what they're all about because so far we haven't dealt with any pirates to my knowledge. Just the Ortani forces. So, right now we have um, three jumps. We have one, one, or one. This is obviously a um, a possible quest for us over here. The vast wreckage field in the Solna system has been known to hold some salvageable ships. So, right here we'll probably get another ship for us, which would be pretty good. Um, our exit's over here. If we wanted to go directly to the exit, we're looking at what? One, two, three, four, five, and six, or one, two, three, four, five. So five or six minimal at the least if we don't want to hit up this or this. What the hell is this over here? This system has obviously been translated from the original Ortani. <laughs> what is that? And then we have a Boskai ship I ship items. Idens. Okay. Um, wreckage field is the first one we're going to. Obviously, we're more than likely running into some resistance here, but so be it. Um, a great number of wrecked ships have gathered in the system. Your engineer reports a heavy gravitational field is emanating from the collapsed drive of an early B-class destroyer which has drawn other battlefield wreckage towards it in over many years. So we're definitely going to search the salvage ships. Scanning the ship's graveyard, you are soon disappointed. These hulks are either far too ancient or long beyond repair. There is nothing here you can use. Oh, that's a damn shame. But at least we didn't really have to deal with any fights, which I thought was definitely going to happen. Alrighty, so now I'm thinking we go... I want to hit this because it's kind of interesting to me because it's like, you know, in the Ortani apparently language. And I also want to hit this right here. So we could do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now remember, every time we jump, supplies go down. But yeah, this seems to be the quicker path regardless of which. So we should go, go up here regardless of which to get faster to the exit or to the um, quest points that I want to hit up. 
The Ertani keep an eye on this system in order to hamper Akari reinforcement from neighboring sectors. You are advised to move on quickly. No fight? No fight. Okay, I'll take it. Now mind you, no fights also means no possibility of supplies, so that is going down with his jump. So that worries me a little bit. What do we have here? The Akari here are desperately trying to defend their orbital stations, but are almost routed. You have no way of passing through unobserved. You must help in the defense. So here's a... Imposed mission regardless of which. Defend the orbital stations. Oh, yeah. Yippee. I love those. Okay. So we have two stations. Remember the last one? The last time we did one of these missions? We almost got wrecked. We had to flee a lot, but we almost got wrecked. So I want that to not happen this time around. I hope that our increases in our skills are actually going to help us out a little bit here, too. So what we're going to start off doing here is this is hangout. Let's see if we spot any enemies coming towards us. And if we do, okay, right here off the bat already, huh? What are you supposed to be? Ah, uh, you are... Scary dudes, and we have shield fucker as well. Okay, well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Let's um get rid of him first, right? So you, my friend, you can't even reach him. That's unfortunate. You need to get closer then, because I need to land a shield on that guy first. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's actually getting crazy. That's a Lancer right there who just wrecked a big part of my shield, and he's still doing it, by the way. Okay. Can I land it over here now? I can. We might probably be better off going after these guys. Right? Because there's, like, three of them right here that we could probably attack. I don't think I could hit this guy, or maybe I can. Maybe right here is going to hit all three of them. We'll place it right there and see what happens. You, my friend, are just going to go after this guy, I guess. We gotta be careful with this um, Lancer, by the way. And then this guy's about to more than likely shoot... Oh, he already shot it. Is it? No, he hasn't shot it yet, but he's gonna shoot his fucking um, shield-destroying thing. Now, you, my friend, I need to start having you attack. You could actually attack the Lancer from back here, right? I think so. So let's do that. Let's actually get rid of the Lancer from back here with our own Lancers. Oh, that guy can't hit! Neither can you, right? Nope. So you come over here, and Epic... Epic, let's have you... Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry. What did I do? What are you doing? You're attacking... Here, correct? And then... You are attacking over there. Right? Can you even reach over there? It doesn't seem like you can, actually. You might have to get close for that attack, so let's see if you get closer. Epic, you're over here, and you can't reach over here, right? No. But you could probably reach if you moved a little bit closer. So let's give it a try. There you go. That should pretty much do it. Let's keep a look at our shields as well. Epic, there you go. Get a shot off over here. One of their dudes is down. This guy's shield is down, and then this guy's going down too. Um, tech dude went after my tech guy, which is probably not the worst thing. Is that my shield regeneration working? If you're seeing this, I'm hanging out in this purple mist, which is no good, but my shield is actually going down really, really slow, so that could have been part of the fact that we upgraded our shield regeneration with the tech class, if I'm right. I th that's what like, like I think we leveled up with him. I could be wrong. Let's have you get a bit closer now. Yeah, that's pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> Alrighty. That level up actually helped quite a bit. Um, this guy's about to go down, so we might as well just keep the assault on this dude over here. This guy should be coming up next. And their Lancer is still somehow standing, which boggles my mind, because he's about to do some damage to me really soon. Please take him down. Nope, it's not down yet. This guy is down, though. No. My, my shield's about to go down, but that's okay. I think I could kind of um, withstand it a bit longer. And then you guys should be ready to go, right? Yeah. So you should over here, Epic, you come after this guy now. And then as soon as you're ready to go, I'm going to have you overcharge and go after this piece of shit back here. So move in close if you have to. That guy is down. Here comes another one of those purple things. Let's actually... Let's check this out. Yeah, that actually reduces my shield a lot faster. Or a lot slower. It might be the shield regeneration, or it just might be the fact that I'm so used to them hitting me with that really big purple cloud mist that actually reduces your shield really fast, and maybe I'm just not noticing the difference. That could definitely be the case too, but... Whatever. He's down now. And we're fine. Um, we might as well get you out of that mist. <laughs> Let's not let it go all the way down. And now we just hang out here for a second, let our shield regenerate. That was it? Oh, so good. Every time we have an easy mission, I am really grateful. Alright, we got some experience for our trouble, which is good. 
And we got some decent amount of scraps and two more supplies, which is good because we've had two uneventful jumps so far. The station survived intact. Hopefully the Urtani will think twice before coming back. This was far too close. You know what? I don't think I have to disagree. I think that was actually kind of easy. Some of the other shit you've thrown at me before has been too close. This one, not too bad. Alright, so now with eight supplies, we could do one, two, three, exit. So let's go over to the Boskai ship idents. And let's see what's here. On entry into this system, your communications specialist reports contact with the Flotali of Boskoi. These nomadic salvagers are fiercely independent and have so far resisted all offer of coalition with the Akari or the Urtani. It appears this group has been recovering attachments from the ship. Ships lost on sorties into nearby systems, judging by the mass of parts being hauled by their gravity tug. Um, let's see if we let's see if they want to trade. We have some money, right? Hailing them, the response to your greeting is measured, but they do at least greet, agree to meet with you. Oh, sweet. Alrighty, so we don't have to fight them. And we have a lot of money, so we could probably do something pretty crazy here. Like, perhaps buying some more attachments, finally. We can't really clear up if it's critical yet. We haven't really had that option, but so be it. Now, what do we have here? We have Fortified Shielding, which is going to be for the Assault, Dreadnought, Lancer, Rogue, or Gunship. For, most of the ships could use the Fortified Shielding, huh? Um, we might actually drop those on one of our Lancers here, if we don't see anything better. This is going to be for the Assault, Dreadnought, and Gunship. This is Advanced Cannons 2. Which one do I have over here? I have Advanced Cannons 2, so we already have that one. We're fine. Tactical Overcharger. Meh. Eh. I'll pass on it. Micro Volatile... Volatile Storm 1, which is the one that our Lancer already has, correct? Or a tech, anyway. Let's see here. You have Micro Ion Storm 1 and Volatile Storm 1. Yeah. We we're looking for number 2 of this guy, which is a really big one, I would imagine. Uh, missile Auto Reloader, which is going to be for the Assault, Dreadnought, and Gunship. Increases the rate of fire of missile-type weapons. We do have a missile-type weapon, but we're focusing mostly on cannons. We've bypassed this before, too. Here we go. Volatile Storm Generator creates a volatile storm at the targeted targeting targeted location at the damage the ship's hull, but does not. Oh, this is going to be HP damage straight up. It doesn't really affect their shields, which is what I was kind of want to get. I really want that shield destroying thing. Creates a volatile storm at the targeted location that damages ship's hull, but does not damage the shield. So would this be an upgrade to micro volatile storm? I would imagine so. And you know what? Let's do it. Let's increase our damage with tech a little bit here. So we're going to get rid of um, Micro Volatile Storm. Actually, we just pretty much swap it out, right? So we will replace Micro Volatile Storm. Yes. Okay. So now we have the Volatile Storm Generator and we have the Micro Ion Storm. Good. And we still have 19,000 to play around with. Almost 20,000 as a matter of fact. We have the Focal Beam, which is only available for the tech of the Pulsar. What do you have right now? You have the Breach Beam. Fires a long-range beam that does heavy damage to hull, but minor damage to shields. The focal beam is fires long-distance ranger that damages both shields and hull. I think this is the one that you had to start off with, and then I swapped you over to the breach beam. So, yeah, let's just have you hold on to the breach beam. It's good to know, though, that it's only actually does damage to the hull, but pretty minor against shields. I should probably keep that in mind. Disengage. What is this supposed to be? Forces all enemy ships in the area to ignore you with their automatic weapons. Only available on assault? Lancer, Rogue, and Gunship. That sounds pretty good. Forces all enemy ships in the area to ignore you with their automatic weapons. Wow, okay. That could sound pretty good for our assault class, as a matter of fact. Hmm, might just try it out. And disengage too. Well, here's the second one of it. Folks, forces all enemy ships in the area to ignore you with their automatic weapons. Okay, so... Wanna give it a try? I'd have to drop one of these bad boys, though. That's the only problem here. Which one do we rather get rid of? Advanced Cannons 2 or the Auto Reloader? I'm going to say Auto Reloader 1, right? It's probably not that big of a boost anyway because this is a level 1. So yeah, let's um install that one. I guess, right? Increases maximum shield for assault. Which is always good. Destroyer mode. Only available on Dreadnought. I really want to try one of those Dreadnoughts. Um, yeah, let's do the disengage too. I like the idea of it. So we will do that. Oh, you know what? This could also work on one of my Lancers. Forces all enemy ships in the area to ignore you with their automatic weapons. Like, would our Lancers be kind of protected from the small little dudes that kind of um, fly around them and do their thing? Because if so, you know what? Let's just give that to um, 
Epic, who's actually pretty bad for wear here. And we'll use Disengage 1 on... Our, on Bellic, more than likely, right? We could also do Tactical Overcharger. Fortify Shielding, increases maximum shield. Yeah, let's do Disengage on Bellic. This is to have them not be targeted by the little small ships. At least I hope that's going to work out. I'm not sure if it is or not. Maybe I'm fucking it up here by giving it to them, but so be it. And then... Do I want something for the Assault now? Fortify Shielding, Advanced Cannons 2. We already have Advanced Cannons 2. Cannon Auto Reloader. Um... Missile Auto Reloader. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We did some good stuff here. Let's jump out of here. Wasted some money, but hey, we're still up to 13,000, which is still pretty good. Now we have the choice to make. Do we go to the exit now, which means only one more mission into the exit, or do we check out what this over here is? And I think we want to check this out. So let's jump over here first and foremost and see what awaits us. A red light winks on the console. Oh, it's our dude that basically always tells us there's an enemy in our path. The moment he says, hey, by the way, he's here, he's literally right next to you. Yeah, thanks a lot, bro. I hate that guy so much. Um, okay. So right now we have... One, two, three, four dudes to kind of deal with. Not too bad. Not the worst thing out there. Uh, let's see here. I say we just hang out where we're at. And just let it happen right now. So, let's do a... Ooh, this actually has a bigger range, too. Mm, doesn't the... This does not affect... You know what this is going to be good for? For Lancers, because Lancers don't really have um, a lot of HP. So, if I, la if I launch this on a Lancer, I could be pretty good. However, the energy cost is 120. And we have 160. So, we could do one of these and then... One of these until we have to recharge again. So, it's going to be a, like a one-in-one -one type of deal. So, let's start off with doing... They already stopped here. Jesus, what the hell is that? That's a scary looking laser. Alright, you need to start focusing on... Maybe this scary thing right here. That's fucking terrifying. Take care of that first, and then... You are going to... Unfortunately, these guys are over here are kind of spread apart, so I can't really do this. I could do this, though. You know what? Let's give it a try. I'm, in I'm interested to see what that does. So we'll launch that right now. Now, our Lancers are going to do some work as well. Let's, um, oh, disengage actually is an activated thing. Interesting. So whenever they're back here and getting assaulted, I could just engage that and it'll probably have the little small dudes that circle around them stop attacking for a while. That could be pretty good. Alrighty, so Bellic, let's have you launch an attack over here. Let's start working on this guy. Epic, you do much the same. Sumitar, you do your overcharger and then just focus on small dude over here. Alrighty, so his shields are down. He's about to get boned pretty fast. Here's our charging thing. How is damage on that one? Pretty good. <gasps> oh, good God almighty. <laughs> that just happened. That just happened. We need to get rid of this guy before we get out of here. We need to get rid of some of these guys before we get out of here. So please um, continue attacking here. Um, You need to get rid of this guy, I'm going to say. Yeah, just get go after him, please. Please go after him. Because we need to fly away here pretty fast. So one of them is down. We're taking some damage over here. Bellic is completely down. Holy shit, Bellic, you need to run. Lancers, let's um have you start withdrawing right now. Ooh, there's going to be a big attack here in this circle really fast, which is that thing charging up more than likely. Um, One down, two down. Two other guys are down. And now it's time for us to just flee. Luckily, my assault and tech haven't taken too much damage to their shields, which is surprising to me. But we need to go really, really fast. We just have to get out of that circle of debt. And Balak is still getting attacked by this piece of shit right there. God damn it. Alrighty. Keep running down over here, guys. Keep running. Just keep running. Oof. That was a scary explosion back there. Alright, so you guys keep running, and then you guys also come aboard over here and follow suit. We're going to do this to kind of get our shields back up as well, in the meantime. We've taken at least two of their characters down, which is ideal. But now we just let them come to us. And we prepare ourselves. There is one in our land of sight, which is this dude. I guess we'll go after him, but we also want to get rid of um their shield dude. Um, Let's see here. What are you going to do? It's right here, which is good. I need you to stop moving. Oh, we could do this over here. 
Yeah, let's do that right there. And after that, your shields aren't looking that great, so let's have you move back now. Oof, your shields are looking really bad, as a matter of fact. Now you, my friend, need to get at least rid of one of these guys as well. And now my us, my dudes over here should be ready for some attacks, right? Bellic, actually, no, Bellic should continue running, I think. Until your shield's up. You know what? Never mind. As a matter of fact, let's continue going back a bit more. I would have loved to gotten rid of this guy, but I don't see it happening right now. Unless my assault could kind of hang out. My assault's actually hanging out pretty well. And my shields are back up for... <gasps> Tech? Oh yeah, you're, you're trying to get out of here to get your shields back. So yeah, you keep running right now. And Lancer seems to be in a good spot. So I think my Lancers should be able to take some shots now. Hopefully. I could take a shot over here, at least. And... Over here... And then, over here. Keep an eye on my shields over here on my assault. One of them is down. This guy's about to go down. Come on. I just need him to go down and I have my assault withdraw. Okay, he's down now. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, Gadget, go. Okay, that's good. And we're actually, um, my Lancers are actually attacking, um, this big boy over here too, which is good. Uh, my tech is, um, still not getting a shield back. The Lancers, let's have you also withdraw a little bit right now. Okay, Tech, I need your shield to come back up, my friend. You guys move back over here, and your shield should be coming up now. My Assault shield is also down here, so let's actually continue moving away for a second. We're actually getting pinned to the corner of the map now, which is actually no good. That's no good at all. Nine seconds. Here they come again. Oh, should I keep moving? I think I should probably keep moving. At least until my assault shield is back up. And you come up here. Please don't run into another platoon up there. I right, keep rolling. Oh, good thing I moved. They're about to launch that crazy attack on us. Alrighty. So my shields are back up with my assault and everybody else. Let's see what they have here. They have possible Lancer, I want to say, and then this dude, and then Big Boy over here. Okay. I think we're ready to probably make a stand, although my tech is again doing pretty bad on the shield front. Okay, we need to take care of shields all around. We could probably do that by launching this over here. You've done that? Now that you've done that, let's have you maneuver back. Now it's going to be all on the assault here. Assault, let's focus on this guy now. And Lancers, you're ready to go, correct? You should be anyway. Let's have you focus on... Getting rid of this guy, right? Or maybe back here. Let's go back here. Let's go after him. Then we're going to have Bellic go after him. Thankfully, they're right in our radius, so that's going to help us out a bit. And then Epic. Oh, he's not in your radius, Epic. So go after this guy, Epic. Now, what I want to do here at the very least is get rid of two guys, and then we'll have our assault leave. Oh, there's actually another one that just popped up. God damn. Alrighty. Tech, get your shield up. We'll talk to you pretty soon. He is down now. My assault is looking pretty good on the shield front right now. Your shields are halfway down. You are still being a pain in my dick side, though. Let's have you attack over on this side. Anybody's ready to charge up for an attack? Nope. Okay. Tech, you are ready to go, I'm going to say. Come in here. I need your help. Assault is quickly, quickly losing his... um cool over here and let's have you launch this over here really quickly and then let's just have you turn around and I think Assault's going to probably be ready to start booking it as well we have attack over here attack over here and attack over here and then you guys start withdrawing afterwards let's go let's go 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 with any luck, I took care of both of their Lancers, meaning only the big dude should be left at this point. So you guys keep moving back. And you guys move back as well. Ideally, we're looking okay if it just means that only big dude is left. So keep that in mind. You need to move. Didn't really move in time, so your shields are going to start not charging up again. Now you need to ruin the rest of this guy. Oh, actually, he's almost done. Let's do... 
Let's do that right there. Assault? You should be able to withstand his assault by the time we get rid of him, right? Because right now, all we have to do is just aim all of our attacks at this dude. And this should be it. Boom. Please, no more enemies. <laughs> I came in a little bit late, but it's okay. We destroyed all the Artonia vessels. Hooey! Hooey! And we're up to veteran now. And Falcon now knows what that means. It means an extra skill for us, and I'm actually pretty happy about that. Uh, High Command may have plenty of analysis focus on his war, but a little more warning about that attack would have been... Would have not gone amiss. Yeah, no kidding. Three supplies and then 3,000 scrap. Let's check out our fleet browser over here and get leveled up. So, Assault. We have Combat Piloting. I kind of want to use this because sometimes I launch an attack and I want them to get the hell out of there faster. So the speed could probably help us out in that regard. So I'm going to probably consider that one. Advanced Gunnery is going to be increases the amount of damage of all weapons. That could also be good, obviously. And then the Reinforced Superstructure is more whole. Basically more health. You know what, let's go for some damage here. I feel that our Assault doesn't really do as much damage as I like, even though he's more of the take damage type of dude. But I want him to get a little bit more tougher in terms of um, inflicting damage here. Now, Lancer number one. Whole dam or, or whole or HP, I guess I should say. Could be useful. But you know what, increasing the amount of damage of all weapons inflict. You know what, that's what they do, right? They just hang out in the back and launch heavy damaging attacks. So we'll do advanced gunnery with him. And now for a tech class. We have Improved Shield Cohesion, which is a more shield regeneration. We have Override Firing, which is increasing the rate of fire on all automatic weapons on board. And we have the Comet Piloting, which actually increases the speed. I think the, the tech might be the slowest ship that we have. So this wouldn't be too bad on him. But honestly, you know what? Shield Regeneration will also be pretty ideal. So let's do the Shield Regeneration. Okay. And there we go. And as soon as these guys level up, we'll have some more skills coming to their part as well. Alrighty. Let's jump out of here, and that was another mission, thankfully, that could have gone bad, but it didn't. Now we have the exit, or this over here. This over here worries me, but I kind of want to do it, so we'll probably check that out next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.